in the case of brain hemorrhage, for example, can be challenging to, to utilize the uh, existing technology as we have it today in order to provide a reliable solution. People have been discussing uh, um, a lot these last few years about the use of augmented reality into the operating table. What problem is not solved today that you expect to be solved in the next five to 10 years? Like what it is not possible today and what will be possible tomorrow? There are different types of problems. I would say the, the, the first one concerns the uh, having an equal number of solutions as we see for the extraction of different anatomical features for the individual conditions as well. For example, in the case of liver tumor, we do have a lot of uh, um, algorithms that extract liver and we do have a lot of algorithms that extract tumor. But in the case of uh, brain hemorrhage, for example, this is not the case. And the reason for that is because there is an enormous amount of variability of how things might appear. And as such, it's, it can be challenging to, to utilize the uh, existing technology as we have it today in order to provide a reliable solution. So we do need to see an evolution of the practices of the technologies before we actually address types, conditions of this type. The second one is actually uh, utilizing technology as a, as a whole in a better way. People have been discussing uh, um, a lot these last few years about the use of augmented reality into the operating table. So be able to do things beforehand, segment things ahead of time, and the moment you start operating, you know, uh, have a system that is going to project information onto the uh, patient body to let the doctor know ahead of time before he makes a cat, for example, that, you know, there is a blood vessel behind it. So uh, enable the, the, the doctor with uh, knowledge ahead of time, but as he's operating. What needs to happen for that to, uh, to become true? I will share a secret with you, and that secret is the following. We've seen that the uh, convolutional neural networks, as the name implies, is the, uh, the marriage of two different technologies. The neural networks that comes from the 60s, and the convolutional operator that, according to Wikipedia, has a 200-year presence. So uh, the two brought together are a very powerful combination and can address pretty much every usual problem out there in a very effective manner. But in specific types of problems, we can indeed take one of these two out of the game and replace it with a different one. So the actual operator that does the uh, pixel study, the pixel intervention, can be something else. Can be something that will generalize better in, this, in the specific nature, the specific type of problems we try to solve. So in our works and in our research, we've seen that the best way looking forward, looking in this direction, is actually taking the convolution out of the game and fine tuning the uh, algorithmics with, uh, with uh, methods that are more suited to the specific types of problems we try to solve.